okay and now we have completed the code now let just run it and submit final we have successfully done the submission now So now let us just understand how we are going to approach this question and how we can solve this and get rid of all those errors. Okay, you can go to this website and just try to read the question or you can just see here and pause the video and read the question. But what the question is trying to tell us is that in a given grid of 2D field, there are a number of cars going to come and they may collide and we have to find all the collision that are occurring at the origin and here it is given think that the reference point is O consider that each car is moving in the straight line towards the origin with the uniform speed all the cars are moving with the uniform speed towards the origin and cars will continue to travel in the same straight line even after crossing the origin and calculate the number of collision that will happen in that scenario and here is the main point note calculate the collision only at origin means we have to calculate all the collision that are occurring only at the origin and we don't have to care anything else and assume that the car continues well this is not important so what is given in this question you are given x and y coordinate of course if you are uh, having a, a 2d plot then you will be given x and y and the uh, speed so now let us just understand it more clearly here it is given 5 12 and 1 means 5 x and 12 is y and 1 is the speed of the car and here it is x y and 5 is the speed of the car so now let us just understand and let us just assume that this is your 2d grid area and from all the directions uh, all cars are coming like from here from here one from here one even from here and every car have the different speed so we have to find at which time they are going to collide at this origins means when this car will come here to the origin and when this will come to the origin when let me change the color when this car is going to come and when this car is going to come to the origin and once all the car came together and if they collide then we have to count the number of collision that is going to occur so how we can find that so the first thing that we can do is to what we have started with like the first thing that we are going to do is to find the distance of each car from its uh, point to the origin for each car we are going to do this step and then what we are going to do we are going to find the timing the timing that it is going to arrive at this origin so first we have to find the distance of the point to the origin uh, for every point and for every point we are going to find what is the time that it is going to reach at the particular given origins so for doing all these calculations we just need two very simple formulas one is to calculate the distance we are just going to use this formula but as in our case our origin uh, our x2 and y2 are 0 0 so we can just eliminate this and it can be just x square plus y square under root this uh, will be our distance formula and then what uh, once we have got the distance like we have got this distance now we have to find the time taken from coming here to coming there so we have given the speed as s and we know the formula of speed speed is equal to distance by time and from here we can easily derive the formula time is equal to distance by speed and we have got the distance from this formula here and we have got the speed and that is already speed is already mentioned in the question so we have got this but now when we are trying to code well i tried to code and the problem that i was facing is that with this under root when we are using under root function with any programming language of our choice like maths.sqrt or anything in your programming language it gives precision till 16th digit like it will be one point something 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 till 16th and due to this precision there is some error happening on this coding platform so we need to fix that so for that we are just going to remove this all play of this square root we are just going to remove it so how we can remove it how we are going to remove the square root well in the formula of distance you can just simply square numerator and denominator like we are just going to remove this square root then it will just become x square plus y square 
and all divided by the speed and the speed should also be in square form so it will be speed square because you all know like if your question is 4 upon 4 if you are going to do multiply by 2 both sides it is going to remain the same the answer is going to be 4 on the 4 to the 8 and 4 to the 8 and 8 by 8 answer is going to remain same as it was for 4 by 4 that is 1 so we can just simply square both side so that we don't have to take the square root and so we are not going to face any precision error and if you understood this solution you can just pause this video here and you can just try to code it yourself so but for now let us just jump to our editor and just write our code so the first step that we are going to take is to first see how we are going to take input because taking input in this case is little bit trickier so let us just move to our question and you can see first we are given the number of cars 5 then we have given 5 consecutive 3 3 number list so what we are going to do we are just going to create a list two dimensional list and then we are going to append this for first it, we are going to append the first for second third and like this so let us just code it here the first thing we take the car as an input total number of cars that we are going to have and then we are going to loop till the number of cars and then we take n and this n is basically going to take the numbers like 5, 12 and 1 then again it will uh, append into our new list of cars and then again it will take 16, 65 and 5 and it will again put it back to our list and once we have done this our cars will have all these numbers from 5 till 7 uh, and 2 first of all we need to find the distance and for that we are just going to simply uh, we are going to go through all the list for j in car the first time uh, the j in car this will contain 5 12 and 1 and then we are going to grab out the first element that is 5 it will be our x and y will be our second element and then speed will be our second so as we have discussed we are just going to remove that square root for that we are just going to write this time is equal to this is distance square which is without under root and this is our speed square which we are actually doing square root and we are just going to append this result into our one more list that is collide because in future we need that so once we have done once we have finded all the distance and time let us just say our timing of the first car is 2 second car is 2 the third car is also 2 fourth car will be 3 and the fifth car will be how we are going to find the number of collision for the finding number of collision we can check one the first collision will occur between these two car then these two car then again from these two car so total number of collision here is one two and three till now it is three and one is from here then it becomes four so how we are going to find it in programmatical way first we are going to check if these both number are same if they are then we are just going to increment one and then we are going to check from again from this to this if these number are also same then we are just then we are going to add one we already have one here collision here but now here the collision number of collision is two so we are just going to simply add it here two plus one become three now we have collision three here now we are going to check if these both are if two and three are same no they are not so we are not going to increase our pointer so now again the c have became zero now we are going to check if these both are same then we are going to make our counter as 1 and we are just going to simply add it here then it will become 3 plus 1 it will become 4 so this is how our code is going to be coded so now let us just focus to our code first we are going to sort this because this method that we have discussed here is just going to work when the list will be in sorted order so that every similar things are going to come together so that is the reason why we are sorting them and again we have in a slice some of the variables that is c and p p is going to hold the number of points and then we are counting if collide of i is equal to equal to i plus 1 this just simply means that if these both are same like 2 and 2 are same then we are just going to increment our counter to 1 we incremented our counter to 1 and then we are going to again add it to our p which is initially 0 for this purpose for storing it so that when we move forward we have the track of previous value so with this we are just going to simply print p and this program is going to run perfectly fine okay i have pasted the code here it is the same code as you can see now let us just simply try to run this code compile and run and please make sure you have selected python 3 and the language and name should be there 
so here you can see our program have compiled successfully but who cares we have to just click on submit final and let us just see if our program is working perfectly fine against all the private sub cases okay our program is working perfectly fine against private test cases and well this was all for this video and if you just enjoyed it and if you want more content of programming consider subscribing to our channel we brings more video related to this